I bought this Ampeg VT40 a while back actually. I haven't used it as much as I've wanted to use it and I'll explain why in a bit. I believe the amp is from 1976 and that is due to the speakers. They are Celestion Rolla speakers. I haven't heard about those before. Someone on a forum were able to identify them for me. So the speakers are from 76 and uh, they also match the front panel of the VD40 from 76. So I believe it's from that year. It has four 10 inch speakers and it's 60 watts. So I bought this right after I did a video of the Ampeg VT22 a while back. If you have seen that video, I just love that amp and I wanted to get a VT22. I wanted to have the exact same one. I couldn't find a 22 which is a two by 12 and it is 100 or 120 watts. So it's a bit bigger. I couldn't find one, so I bought this instead. And instantly I didn't like it as much as the VT22. I think that was maybe due to the fact that it was a two by 12. I'm, I'm most used to that and it had EVM 12L speakers and that was such a great match with that amplifier. I believe that the amp itself, the circuit sounds very similar because I did an AB test with this amp and my Ampeg V4, which is the same as the VT22, running them into the same speaker cab with my Torpedo Live and you had some more headroom with the V4 compared to this, but the sound, overall sound was very similar. Uh, in the room, I've always thought that this sounds a bit brighter. Uh, of course, it's four by 10. But my biggest issue with it is um, miking it. It sounded so raspy and bright and I wasn't really sure if it's because it has 10 inch speakers or if it's the type of 10 inch speakers in it. I know that they are not that common in this model. So it's really hard to mic. I think today I I, I was finally able to get some really good sounds out of it. More to how it sounds in the room because it sounds good in the room. It's just really hard to mic up. And I've done that with four mics this time. So my main mic is a ribbon mic. That's the Audio-Technica AT81 from a distance. Then I have a Lute MTP440 on uh, the speaker, pretty like much to the side to avoid that raspiness and too much brightness. I have a room mic over there and what I've been missing with my earlier recordings with this amp is low end. And that I'm capturing on the backside of the amp, which is a really neat trick. So I have a ribbon mic behind the amp as well, a Biodynamic M160, which is not too unsimilar from how I've seen Eric Valentine, the producer of Songs for the Deaf, yes, uh, Queens of the Stone Age, how he mic'd the cabinets and amps in that session. This is of course simplified, but I think he did something like this. And that sort of led me to a theory because he has talked about how difficult it was to get good guitar tones on that album. And I know for a fact that these amps, they sound fantastic in the room. They sound like that album in my opinion. And hearing him say that it was difficult, that has always been a bit weird to me because they used uh, VD40s on that album. And I think maybe that can be because of the cabinets, because of the four 10 cabinets and combos that they use. So maybe how these amps, these cabinets are built and the type of speakers that they've used can be a very tricky combination to capture with microphones. That's what I have experienced at least. Of course, that's just a theory from me. They used other amps as well. They might have been really tricky to record as well. But I know for a fact that with my VD40, 
it's definitely a challenge and it's not because of the amp itself or the circuit because when I run it into my Torpedo Live with my favorite speaker simulations, it sounds fantastic like that. But miking it is difficult. You need to work hard to get some good tones from this. And of course, we will try to do that Queens of the Stone Age uh, thing again here on the channel. But I would say that this is a fantastic amp for any tone. The clean tones are good. The reverb is horrible, <laughs> but the clean tones are good. But if you don't do that mid push thing, it's just a fantastic rock amp. So you don't have to do the Queen's thing. You can just push it. Use your favorite overdrive pedals. It will sound fantastic. Okay, let's hear some tones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 